Jeffree Star fans are upset at other brands for releasing similar eyeshadow palettes. Before I get into the tea, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send hate or threats of any kind to anyone involved in this controversy. This video is simply meant to report on the news and give some insight on the issue. On March 15th, Jeffree Star revealed his new eyeshadow palette, Blue Blood, in a YouTube video. Let's open up Blue Blood. Here she is. Jeffree's palette was set to release on March 29th, but a lot of controversy stirred online the week of the release. On March 22nd, Tarte teased a blue-themed palette called Icy Bitch. On March 24th, Tarte teased a few eyeshadow colors that look similar to the ones in Blue Blood. On March 26th, Tarte teased the cover of the palette. And on March 28th, just one day before Jeffree's release, Tarte Cosmetics released their blue palette. Tarte tweeted, The icy legend you've been asking for has arrived. Our icy betch eye and cheek palette is now available for 24 US dollars on Tarte.com. This cool toned palette has nine pigmented shadows and one icy highlighter. And they confirmed on Instagram, this is no joke. The next day, on March 29th, Jeffrey released his Blue Blood palette. Here are the color swatches of icy betch and Blue Blood side by side. A lot of people thought Tarte was being shady. I feel like Tarte found out about Jeffree Star releasing Blue Blood, so they decided to try to do it better and failed miserably with Icy Bitch. Name, by the way. Love the Blue Blood palette, but Tarte just came out with Icy Bitch. Think someone's trying to copycat Jeffree. Sad. LOL, so Tarte's Icy Bitch palette looks like an off-brand version of drugstore makeup. They can't live up to Jeffree Star's blue-blooded palette at all. Hey Tart, if you want to make a successful palette, how about you don't take just two hours to put it together? Then, on March 30th, Jeffree posted this cryptic tweet that people believe is about Tart. They can study the blueprint, but they can't recreate the magic. And someone replied with, I love how you're trying to make it seem they are copying you, but you yourself have said multiple times that creating makeup takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. So if Tarte was copying you, how is it their palette will be releasing so soon? Frog emoji, tea emoji. However, this isn't the full story. If we go back in time to April 1st, 2018, Tarte posted this on their Instagram. Peep our IG story for an exciting reveal. Hashtag rethink natural, hashtag newness, hashtag coming soon. Tarte revealed a blue theme palette on their Instagram story, introducing the newest Tartlet palette, Tartlet Icy Bitch. They even made a poll asking fans to vote between an old palette, toasted, and the new Icy Bitch palette. Are you an Icy Bitch? Or are you warm and toasty? Then Tarte said, April Fools! Thanks for playing along. Don't worry, we won't let you go empty handed. Enjoy 15% off all palettes on Tarte.com today only. Trend Mood, a makeup news account, posted about the Tarte joke. Jeffree Star actually threw some shade in the comments on this 2018 post. Jeffree said, when their joke palette is 10 times more interesting than their last five launches. One person agreed and said, someone tell me why Tarte's April Fool's joke is actually cooler than anything they've released lately. Like, can you please just make it? But maybe not call it Icy Bitch. Other people were actually upset at the joke. Okay, Tar Cosmetics, you broke my heart when I found out Icy Bitch was just an April Fool's joke, was totally ready to buy it. Tarte is dumb as I would have bought their Icy Betch palette in a heartbeat, but no, it was April Fool's. That palette was a smart business move, do a damn focus group and see. Can Tarte Cosmetics please just make and release the April Fool's Icy Betch palette? I can't get over it. They really pranked the f out of me. And many people couldn't get over the palette even months later. July 2018. I'm still mad about Tarte Cosmetics' April Fool's joke of the Icy Betch palette. November 2018. I'm still waiting on the Icy Betch palette that was an April Fool's joke that backfired. December 2018. Remember when Tarte posted a picture of a green-blue eyeshadow palette called Icy Betch and everyone loved it and kept saying it was one of their best releases in a long time, but then it turned out to be an April Fool's prank? Because I think about that a bunch. January 2019. I have not forgotten, and I have not forgiven Tarte Cosmetics for the Icy Betch April Fool's joke. Neither will I ever forgive them for not giving us that palette. Some brands even created palettes inspired by Tarte's April Fool's palette. Sydney Grace released a bundle of single shadows called No Joke, and Face Candy released a palette called Atlantis. Then, in May 2018, Tarte tweeted, Hey Tartlets, we've been reading all of your comments and we want you to know, we hear you. Exciting and colorful things are in the works. People believe this tweet was about the Icy Betch palette. That tweet was from 10 months ago. If that's true, then Tarte has been working on the palette for a very long time. Fast forward to March 2019 when Tarte released a new version of Icy Betch. People weren't too happy. Here's the 2018 design with 12 shades, and here's the 2019 design with 10 shades. 
They said, April Fools came early, not the Icy Betch I wanted. I'm so mad about the tart Icy Betch palette. Like first off, you tease about an actually bomb palette, then say April Fools, and then when you get the balls to release it, you f it up? Like, it was right there. You didn't even have to do anything. Should have actually done it last year with that April Fools palette you did. Everyone went mad for it and it showed how out of touch you were with your own market. And it looks like you still cheated us out of two shades. Others thought it was bad timing. Tarte releasing the Icy Betch palette one day before Jeffrey's Blue Blood collection is laughably poor and unfortunate timing. A year ago, I would have bought it. Now we'll get Jeffrey's instead. Thanks! Wrong day to launch this. Hashtag Blue Blood. Some people accuse Tarte of copying Jeffrey's Blue Blood palette. Me seeing Tarte's Icy Betch palette after they've seen how successful Blue Blood has been, so now it's not an April Fool's prank at Jeffrey Star. The knockoff. I went blue blood all the way, babe. Seriously? Tarte Cosmetics, come up with your own ideas instead of copying. Others spoke up about the accusations. Okay, can everyone stop with the Tarte copy Jeffrey or Jeffrey copy Tarte? Tarte has released an image of Icy Betch palette a year ago on this day that was an April Fool's joke. It was a fourth Tartlet palette. I'm assuming the post was made to see what the market would want and if there was a large enough selling branch for a blue cool tone palette. Which Jeffrey commented on the post, saying, When their April Fool's joke is better than their original ideas. Well, it's my understanding that coming up with a palette takes a while, so I doubt that Tarte flat out tried to copy Jeffrey Star. If you think about it, Tarte thought of it first in their joke from last year. I don't think they copied Jeffrey, but I do think that they saw how many people were excited for Jeffrey's amazing palette and thought they should release theirs. Around the same time, Laura Lee posted this video to her Instagram story. Definitely should not be showing you guys this, this look. But girl, I'm so excited. This launched to like summer, late summer, but we're ahead of the curve, okay? And Lipstick Nick, a makeup artist who frequently works with Jeffree Star, actually applied Laura's makeup in the video. Here's a photo of them together. It's unclear whether Laura was teasing her eyeshadow, foundation, concealer, or lipstick. Regardless, people noticed the bold blue eye look and accused her of copying Jeffree Star. Sorry Laura Leach came for your brand. Your palette is worth the money, honey, and hers is some knockoff Poundland bowl. Yes, Laura Leach. I mean, what sad actually shows off her blue within the same time period that Blue Blood gets released? I mean, she said she's coming out in summer. That's enough time to start now to get it launched. T-Spill also questioned whether Laura's palette would be all blue eyeshadows. Laura Lee is coming out with an eyeshadow palette and in the teaser, she was wearing blue on her eyes. Will it be a pop of blue or an all blue palette? Hmm. One person called out Lipstick Nick. You know what's even more messed up to me? is how Lipstick Nick, who's done mostly all of Jeffree Star's looks, especially with Blue Blood, and she had the nerve to do Laura Leach's makeup, same eyeshadow color concept, and with one of the many shady b****. But someone clarified, she's here to make money, not pick sides. Money is money. And others didn't think Laura was copying Jeffree. Guys, a palette from a brand takes months of testing, production, etc. I don't think she copied Jeffree in a few days. Come on. Just because Jeffree has a blue palette doesn't make blue shades off limits to other brands. I think it's funny people really think all these brands were able to create and package all these blue palettes in a couple weeks. In my opinion, brands saw the response to Tarte's April Fool's post and made blue palettes. They listen to the consumers, so it's a good thing. One person mentioned Laura's Party Animal palette, which has blues in it. I really don't understand these people saying cancelled, etc. when Laura is out here making more money than most of us will see in our lives. They all forget very fast that she had insanely good blues in one of her previous palettes. Some people thought the Jeffrey, Tarte, and Laura drama was ridiculous and said, I'm no stan, but blue eyeshadow palettes aren't an original concept. At the end of the day, it's makeup, so just enjoy that. Who the f cares? Jeffrey did not invent blue eyeshadows, lol. Calm the f down. These are just some examples of blue palettes that came before Jeffree Star debuted his. So, what's the big issue? Well, all these accusations. I can't say much about Laura Lee because she didn't release her collection yet, but Blue Blood and Icy Betch don't seem to be copied from either brand. Let's take a look at the palettes side by side. The eyeshadows, the swatches, the packaging. Some blues may look similar, but there are only so many different types of blues that look visually appealing on the skin. Furthermore, Jeffree Star's palette has 18 colors, while Tarte's has 10, and the formulas are different. Blue Blood consists of eyeshadows and pressed pigments. Icy Betch has eyeshadows and a large highlighter shade. 
regardless of the copying allegations, Tarte Cosmetics was still deemed shady with the timing of their launch. It's true that Tarte had the concept for Icy Betch a year ago on April 1st, 2018, way before Jeffrey teased this Blue Blood palette, but it is off-putting that Tarte decided to release it just one day before Jeffree Star's Blue Blood launch. It would have made sense if Tarte released the new Icy Betch palette on April 1st, 2019, since that was when they released their joke palette last year. So I can see why many people are upset about the timing. However, I don't think Tarte was necessarily trying to steal Jeffrey's spotlight. There's a possibility they wanted to sell before Jeffrey's launch because they were afraid of losing sales against such a big competitor. Or it may have just been a smart business move, gaining traction off a big name. Jeffree Star has over 14 million subscribers on YouTube, 4 million followers on Twitter, and 12.3 million followers on Instagram. And Jeffree's products sell out very quickly. During the Blood Sugar launch, the collection sold out in three minutes. Like, it's only been 20 minutes into the launch, you guys. My website has never had this much traffic before, and we literally sold out of every single Blood Sugar you palette unit in three Minute. And all the Blue Blood palettes sold out the day of the release as well. Jeffrey said, We are doing weekend shifts morning to night because the orders are astronomical. So I'm hearing from all my other retail partners, Morphe, everyone. Beautylish, Beauty Bay in UK, Australia, everyone is sold out of the Blue Blood palette. However, I will give Tarte some credit here. Remember Jeffree Star made a comment about Tarte's joke palette last year? This led a few people to believe that Jeffrey was inspired by Tarte's April Fool's palette. Jeffrey took the opportunity to make a comment when it was announced that it was a joke. I sincerely believe his Blue Blood palette sparked from what he saw as an opportunity. Now Tarte launched the idea for real, but too late after Jeffrey. In general, a lot more mainstream brands have released blue and green themed palettes since Tarte's joke last year. They're super late to the trend. However, Jeffrey said his past inspired the Blue Blood palette. 10 years ago, I wore blue eyeshadow every day for a year, and I was always told blue was too loud, too bright. I love how many people are now embracing color again in their makeup routines. I used to let my makeup speak for me when I was too insecure to talk. The old Jeffrey, who was just discovering makeup in 7th grade, would have died for a palette like Blue Blood. So happy I could finally create what I used to dream about. With all the evidence presented, I don't think either brand flat out copied one another. Like many people brought up on Twitter, developing an eyeshadow palette is a lengthy and intricate process. In fact, we see the intricate developing process in The Secret Life of Jeffree Star. Jeffrey also said how long it took to develop and release a product. How long does it take to actually make that? Um, like if we started today from scratch, you could probably get it out in six or seven months. So you can see, Jeffrey had to have been working on Blue Blood for six months at the very least. And Tarte actually hinted that they were working on their palette in May 2018, which means Icy Betch was in the works for 10 months. Considering that Tarte doesn't make bold colors, this may explain why it took longer than usual to release, and maybe why they were unable to deliver the original 12 colors. Tarte's choice to release the day before Jeffrey may seem shady to some, but it's also a strategic business move to make sales. Overall, both palettes offer something unique. Icy Betch has a highlighter and silver shades, and Blue Blood has pressed pigments and peachy shades. And at the end of the day, they're different formulas. Before the video ends, I have some good news. A service we use has sponsored us. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you don't already know, Skillshare is an online community with over 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. It's a great place to fuel your curiosity, creativity, and even career. A few of our favorite classes are about psychology and art. This psychology class, How Your Mind Works in Six Lectures, is taught by psychologist and neuroscientist Andre Clapper, who has more than 10 years of experience. And this character illustration class is taught by well-known comic artist and illustrator Gabrielle Piccolo, who has over 2 million followers on Instagram. What's also great about Skillshare is a sense of community. You can join groups with other learners, give and receive feedback on projects, and speak with others with the same interests as you. It always helps to learn by doing and to learn with others. And with over 7 million members, there's a lot of knowledge to learn and share. And guess what? You can be a part of it too. Skillshare is giving a free two-month unlimited access trial to the first 500 Spill subscribers who click on the link in the description box. And after that, it's only about $10 a month. Unlimited access means you'll be getting a premium membership, which allows you to access all classes on the platform. And it's a cancel anytime process, so don't worry about any commitments. Good luck to the first 500 people. 
What are your thoughts on the controversy? Do you think Tarte was wrong to release their palette after Jeffries was well received? Let me know in the comments below.